I don't know about you guys, but I woke up on the right side of the bed this morning, and whenever I wake up on the right side of the bed, I feel like making 200,000 coins in Madden 24 for free, so that is exactly what we're going to do in this video, as well as showcase how you can do the exact same thing to make these coins for free as well. Now, Soul Soul Sim family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you watching this one are having a wonderful start to your weekend, and without further ado, let's get it started. Now, I'm not going to lie, the first method I'm showing in this video, we've talked about before, it is not super complicated. It it is Saturday, which means we're making coins on Ultimate Legends, and how are we doing so? Well, we're going to our solos, and I'm going to urge you guys to play about 16 solos in this game. So scroll on down until you find your Ultimate Legends solos, and what you want to do is get 16 tokens by playing these solos. Now, how do you get 16 tokens, you might ask? Well, it's pretty simple. A lot of these milestones, or all these milestones, are 5x Ultimate Legend tokens, so we got to go through here, get three of these milestones done, or three of these tiers done, and then we also need to play one final solo. Now, why do I say you need to play one final solo? And what does that mean? Well, as you can see, in each week, there's a final challenge. And when you play this, you get one more token. So the math on that is pretty simple, right? We get three of those 5X packs. That's 15 tokens. Then we get one more token by playing through one final challenge. That is 16 tokens in total. I'll show you guys what we're going to do with those tokens in a second, but that's going to convert to a nice bit of free coin. So go through here, play through a couple weeks of these solos. It is not difficult. All it will require is playing through three weeks of solos. Not too difficult. That's going to take you about 20 minutes, I would say. Pretty simple, and that will give you 16 tokens. Now, let me quickly just open up these packs in the background. These are my token packs, which, of course, we grinded for in solo challenges. There's a 5x pack very easily. We have another 5x pack right here. I'm just going to fly through these really, really quickly because, again, this isn't like world breaking revolutionary news. Here's another 5x pack. We're at 15. Now, this pack right here is going to give me the option of a token or a 90 overall. Take the token, and now we've got 16 tokens tokens. What are we going to use them on? It's pretty simple. Now I'm going to go to my sets. I'm going to filter it down by the program Ultimate Legends. And boys, there is this pack right here that I feel like is so freaking underrated. It's the 94 to 97 Dynamic Ultimate Legend Field Pass Token Exchange. Now with this pack, we're going to get a lower overall version of a UL. So instead of getting a 99, we get a 97. But boys, on Saturday, when new Ultimate Legends drop in the game, that is when these 97s are most expensive. In fact, if I was doing this a couple hours earlier, this 90 97 overall Kevin Mawai was selling for, I want to say, 250k on launch. You guys will notice these 97s are expensive on launch. So what I would recommend you do is get these done as quick as possible. If you have tokens, get them done right when the cards drop in this game. That will give you as much value as you can. Me personally, yeah, I'm a little bit late. I'm only getting 169,000 coins worth of value out of these cards. That's honestly not the greatest number, but that number will go down over time. So if I wait till tomorrow, these cards are going to go down in price. If I wait another day, they'll go down in price even more. And good example of that are these other 97s, Asante Samuel, Larry Wilson. All these other 97s are selling for less than 180k. And cards like Larry Wilson, cards like Walter Payton, those full 99s are better than these 97s. That really just goes to show you that timing is everything when it comes to making these free coins. So for us, we take Mawai, we sell off the card for like 170. Pretty easy coin, we'll take it. And again, didn't require much work ethic. I would recommend you guys do the same. Okay, now next up, method number two. This is one that I think is super easy and super underrated right now in this game. Now, boys, as you guys can see, to get these Ultimate Legend sets done, you need 96s. And for a lot of sets in this game, particularly the 99 overall sets, a lot of 99 overall sets are going to require 96s. Now, what does that mean? Well, that means that the price of 96s have gone up an absolute ton. There are some 96s in the market that are selling at 80k, 90k, 100k, 120. And although these cards came out a while and these sets came out a while, building some 96s is not the worst idea in the world. Me personally, I think some of the Genki Force 96s are a good card to select, as you guys can see right here when we filter it down by 96 to 97. And the program Genki Force, you guys are going to see that DK Metcalf is selling for 220k. Are you kidding? Devontae Adams is 134. These Genki Force 96s are so freaking expensive. Now, how do we get these sets done? It's very, very simple. Filter it down by the program Genki Force. You guys can really do this for pretty much any 96 overall player in this game. And as you guys can see, to get these done, you need five 93 overall players. Now, sniping the 93s is really the majority of this method. There's some specific filters I would recommend you guys follow. Let's talk about it. Now, the filtering strategy to find these 93s, which of course are required to go into the sets, is go down by quality 92 
92 to 93, and then filter it down by certain programs. Programs is my favorite instead of positions, because this will just show you all 93 overall players. Like if we go down by the program Genki Force right here, we're going to see just 93s. And the number we're looking for is about 11,000 coins. Now, 11K might be a little bit cheap. You might have to go to like 12 or 13, but let's say you're buying 13K. You spend 65 on the set. You guys saw there were cards selling for 100K or more. So that's a pretty nice profit margin right there. Now, in terms of filters, I would say Ultimate Legends is solid. I would say Weekly Wild Cards is probably my favorite. Weekly Wild Cards, I think, is going to show you the most amount of deals right here. Again, 93s is what we're looking for, and we're looking for them at about 12 or 13K. 15K is the cheapest I'm seeing. Honestly, when it comes to this method, sometimes you got to just bite the bullet and pay a little bit more because this is much more of a volume method than it is like a sniping method. Two or 3K at the end of the day isn't really going to matter as much as doing the set more times over and over. You're really looking to do this as many times as you can rather than save those one or 2,000 coins and get the set done less frequently. I'd rather do the set three times and make 30K per set than do the set two times and make 35K per set. And the snipes are not looking very fruitful right here. Division Dynasty isn't a bad filter. As you guys can see, we see at 10, we see at 13. We actually see quite a few cards right here on this filter. I'm going to probably take all these cards at like 10 or 13. Again, volume method, go through your filters, get your snipes. As you can see, another one at 12. I'm not really going through here and like waiting until I get the set done, then finishing it. No, I kind of just go through every single filter, grab as many snipes as I possibly can. And then however many snipes I have, that's how many sets I'm going to do. If I can do the set two times, I'll do it two times. If I go through, get enough snipes to get this set done four times, I'll do it four times. But really what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all my filters, just get as many buys as I can and then move on. So Ultimate Legends, Weekly Wildcard, Division Dynasty, Genki Force, Infinite Flux is also a pretty solid one. And I would say those are probably going to be your best bets when it comes to snipes. Go through all those. Be sure you do your filtering properly. However many snipes you get, then go to the set and bang the set out. And moment of truth right here. Let's bang these sets out as many times as we possibly can. We're spending about 65,000 coins per set right here. And we're going to be getting a card that is selling for a nice price. Now, there's other 96s that are also selling at a good deal. Like if you go through here and do the set for like Bo Jackson, Bo Jackson's selling for a pretty good price as well. But DK Metcalf 96, as you guys can see, recent sales at about 89 or 90K. I wasn't expecting him to sell for the 200,000 coins that he was listed for. That was pretty expensive. I thought that was a little bit unrealistic. But at 90K, we only spend 65, turn it into 90. Easy. And of course, when you're doing this, no, you don't have to pick DK Metcalf every time. There's other cards that also are selling at a pretty good deal. We'll do this set another time. Again, I've done some sniping off camera, but we got like what, four or five buys on camera as well at a pretty solid price for those cards. You can really pick anyone. And to be honest, the floor for these 96s is relatively high. All of them are going to be going for at least a somewhat decent price. I think that wide receiver Jair, or actually no, wide receiver Devontae Adams looked like he was selling for a good price. Let's pick him. And again, hoping to get about 90K plus for the card. As you can see, one of them sold at 133. That's kind of crazy. This might have been a bad pick, but again, I didn't really see any of him posted on the auction block when we took a look. So we'll sell him and hopefully he sells for that price. Now that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm out. Love y'all. See ya. Peace.